a big part of the problem that we've got in Western industrialized nations, so pretty much most of the world at this stage, unless you're looking at those areas that are kind of still developing, is that we've got a 70 year legacy of massive changes to how we eat and how we consume food. Everything that commenced right after World War II with regards to the processed food industry. And that's taken hold and that's changed dietary behaviors. Plus, back in 1920, there were two billion people on the planet and now there's 7.8 billion. So we are stripping resources. We've had a huge change in manufacture of food and what makes it to our plate and people's ideas of what constitutes a meal. Most people actually don't put together ingredients anymore. 60% of the UK alone don't have a meal each day that's based on ingredients. It's based on products. They go to the shop and they buy products, things in packets and things in tins, things that are reheated, not cooked, not chopped and prepared from fresh. And that's brought about a legacy of illness. And behind that, what's aggravated within the system is what we call systemic inflammation. The inflammatory response acutely if you do some exercise, for instance, or if you get a cold or a flu, is really important. That, in, that initial acute inflammatory response is what kickstarts your immune system to start to protect you. Or if you've done some exercise, it's that acute inflammatory response that starts to bring about the adaptation and changes. But chronic inflammation is what sits behind chronic disease and it's that systemic inflammation that has become manifest across our populations and people are walking into sickness and there are fundamental things that are missing from our diet intense agriculture and intense aquaculture has stripped the nutrients from our food it's no longer the type of food we were getting 50 60 70 years ago because there are so many people to feed and just through the processes alone of how it makes it to the shop and to the plate so we've got to get real. We have to look at the changes we can make in our diet, trying to make better choices, buying better quality produce where we can. But that is so limited by budget. Not everybody is in a position whereby they can buy the very best of fresh food every single day. And the worst part is, is even if you can, if we look at sources, typical sources of omega-3, which is really important to us, well, taking that from fish, one, it's unsustainable ecologically. We just can't feed that amount of people. We should all be eating fish around about three to four times a week. Well, that's 7.8 billion times four per week. Do the math, it's unsustainable. The planet can't tolerate that. But what we can access and what we can you know, find in our fishmongers and in our supermarkets does not have the same nutrient profile as it did 50, 60, 70 years ago. So we have to get clever about it and we have to look at what we can put into our diet, what strategies we can build in so that we can access the same kind of outcome. So we can take a hit of really good quality omega-3 we have to you know, explore that as to what makes one product better than another, and we can do that another time. But we have to be able to get a good source of omega-3. And really, if you look at the, the current research and the guidelines on this, we should be taking it every single day. We're not taking enough of it. In fact, most prevailing guidelines across Europe, North America, Australia, the UK, they're low, it's a low estimate. It's almost double that that we actually need if you look at the research and what creates impact within that human ecosystem. So what we've got to do is get real. We can't take everything from food availability. The world just isn't what it was 60, 70 years ago. So what we can do is we can use the best intelligence, the best research to get the best product to enrich a diet that we're working on, where we're trying to have a diet that's more based on ingredients than products. But we can be really clever and smart about putting these types of products in to enhance that and to get a far better health outcome.